Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Black Tiger here today, guys, and uh, yeah, today uh, we're gonna be doing another GTA 5 video, and um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you the stuff I have bought off uh, after Christmas from my uh, some of my Christmas uh, Microsoft points here. So yeah, let's get into this video, guys. Show you my first car that I have purchased. Well, actually, obviously, this one here, the Progen T20. My god, this thing looks gorgeous, guys. It's, I, I'm in love with this car. It's my new favorite car in the game, for sure. It's just so nice. It's, like, totally gorgeous. But, uh, yeah, I gotta change this, uh, um, tire smoke here. I don't really like the orange too much. It looks kind of strange with that yellow, but other than that, this car is an absolute gem. It's so nice. I just, like, love it. Totally in love with it. Whoa, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pavement was blocking the door. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that T20 little emblem there under the door. Yeah, you got the gorgeous engine in there. Purse, I really wish the back of the trunk could open up like the uh, the Turismo R, but can't do that, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, let's go and uh, show you guys the other two cars I got. And then uh, I'll show you the main car that we're going to be focusing on in this video. And I'm actually in love with this other car that I'm going to be doing in this video. And that is the Cognoscenti. Cognoscenti? I got to see how you say this. Let me see. Just give me a second here. I got to look it up. Got to check it out. Okay. Uh, the Ennis Cognoscenti. Yeah, Cognoscenti. Yeah, I'll just say Cognoscenti, whatever. Yeah, it is gorgeous, 254 grand. I totally, I love the longer one way more than uh, the shorter, the Connexeni 55. I like the longer one from GTA 4 much better. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And the stock rims are beautiful as well. Like, look at these stock rims. Oh my god. I, I just love it. It looks gorgeous. And I kind of was like, hmm, now that there's that new gold paint, why don't I do gold and chrome, <laughs> which is what I did, and I don't know if you guys like this too much, I was kind of really, like, debating whether or not I should do this color combination, but I think I'm definitely going to change the side to white, primary to white, and then do the top black, because I think this looks kind of overly ridiculous, but I don't know, I guess it's, it's a Maybach, so, yeah, it's kind of a super highly prestigious and expensive car anyway. Oh, yeah, I just got to stop talking there for a sec so you could hear that startup. Like, that has got to be one of the best startups from any car in GTA I've ever heard. Like, that is just gorgeous. Hear it again here. Like, oh, my God, that's nice. But yeah, then we got the Tampa, as you can see, and I tried to make it look as close to my GTA 4 one as I possibly could. But I think, personally, it'll look way better if the rims are smaller so you could see more of the tire. Just like in GTA 4, but yeah, I think it looks not too bad. Yeah, guys, let's get in the Cognoscenti, and I'll show you guys what I've done for the upgrade options. Oh, well, yeah. The exhaust on this thing is actually pretty nice, too. I'll turn up the volume here so you guys can hear it. Whoops. I accidentally left the garage. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this thing's got a V12 as well uh, as the uh, shafter, the V12 shafter. And this thing, guys, is actually so fast. It's unbelievable. This thing is literally almost as fast as the shafter V12. So this thing literally keeps up with like all the supercars in the game, like the Progen T20. I think that's just so cool. Like the size of this car and the fact that it's able to keep up with those supercars is absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm totally in love with this car. It's just so gorgeous. And like the sheer size of it is just it's just beautiful. Like it's so big. Like it's like such a prestigious car. And I love the bot Oh my god, I've never done that before. Oh, that was sick. I like it even more now. 
But yeah, I was just about to say there, the body roll is awesome. I think this car is definitely the king of body roll in GTA 5. And I definitely, I left the suspension stock because it's just that awesome. Like, I love the body roll of this car. And I don't know, I think it's just overall better. Has a better feel to it if, uh, with the stock suspension. But yeah, obviously, I did not get the armored version because I don't like those weird squares on the side. And I figured... The regular armor is good enough for me, so yeah. But yeah, I've got full armor, full brakes, obviously. Engine fully upgraded, no explosives. And oh yeah, I didn't show you guys the horn. I'll show you guys that after in a second here. And uh, we got neon xenon headlights, and uh, no neon because I think it just kind of um, degrades the car. Like it makes it look kind of cheap and like tacky, kind of. So yeah, I don't think you'd really see any Maybox with like LEDs underneath. Or underglow or whatever the heck it's called, neons, whatever. But yeah, I got the yellow and black plate. For our primer, we've got... What do we got in here? No, we don't have chrome. We have... We have uh, pure gold. I think brush gold would also look good. But that shininess kind of makes it nice as well. And then our secondary, we have chrome, obviously. And I think it looks pretty cool, but I think I'm going to change it to black and white. And yeah, we have the stock suspension, of course, fully upgraded transmission, turbo, of course. And then the wheels, we have the stock wheels, because I think they look gorgeous on this car. And then for windows, we have the first, oh no, we have three tints. I was kind of debating whether or not to tint the windows or not, but I think it looks pretty nice with the tinted windows. Might actually change it to this tint. I don't know, I, I really can't decide whether or not, I kind of like that tint. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that for now. Why not? But, uh, yeah, let's respray this thing. Might as well for this video, guys. I'll put it back if I don't like it. But yeah, I don't think I want to do metallic. Because I think that'll wreck the primary. So let's just see here. I'll, I'll go to secondary and do classic black. Yeah, I, I think it's going to wreck it. But that actually, that actually looks pretty nice. That looks pretty sick, actually. Yeah, we'll do black here, and then for the secondary primary, we'll also do classic. Well, actually, might as well just try metallic and see what happens if I... Oh, I'm liking that already. It looks pretty sweet. But yeah, as you can see, like, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I'm just going to go with classic for now. But yeah, actually, a lot of these colors look pretty gorgeous on this thing with that black there. Looks quite nice. Let's see where the heck is white. And yeah, it's going to look nice with that white interior as well. Okay, there we go. Ice white or frost white. Hmm. The ice white kind of looks more like a cream. Frost white looks a bit better in my opinion. My opinion. I would look better with a white top and then black sides. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I'll try that actually. Secondary will do classic white here. Yeah, I think frost white looks better. Do frost white. <clears throat> yeah, no, that looks worse, I think. I don't know, it's really hard to tell. Or would it look nice with, like, white and chrome? That looks pretty cool. Here we go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty sweet. I'm going to leave it like that for now. And maybe I'll be able to find a better color combination later on. But I think this looks pretty sweet. I think black rims might look pretty cool. But I really do like these stock rims. I might actually change it back to the golden 
Chrome. I don't even know. I really don't know. Like, I that's kind of part I hate about not having um, the stupid DLCs in single player. Kind of really sucks because you can't like test out all the colors and like mess around with the color combinations. So you can't really find out like what exactly is your favorite color. So. Yeah, kind of just got to fool around, but hopefully I'll find something that suits this car best soon. But yeah, oh my god, this thing is fast, guys. And it, this thing is massive. Like, this car weighs a ton in real life. It actually weighs a lot more than a ton. It probably weighs about, like, I don't know, 5 tons, maybe? No, maybe not 5 tons. That'd be, like, 10,000 pounds. Maybe it does. I don't know. This is a massive car in real life, so... Especially with our, all this armor, it probably would weigh around 5 tons. So yeah, the fact that this thing is able to move like this is pretty awesome. It is definitely not a slow car. It's really quick. And it's just massive. And yeah, there's the horn, guys. I'll let you hear that. But yeah, it's a really kind of, I don't know if you can say luxurious sounding horn, but it really suits the car, so... Yeah, and I think it's also unique because it comes with the car, and it's always the same. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but... If you, if you have a car that you don't change the horn on, every single time you use that car, every game it'll have a different horn, which is really weird. And uh, yeah, this car's got its own unique horn, so I think that was pretty cool. But yeah, this car will just smack cars out of your way, like no one's getting in the way of this thing. This thing's just a beast. But yeah, overall it's just such an awesome car, I really love it. Oh, maybe black with the chrome would look nice. I really don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments, actually, what com color combinations you think. Like, primary, secondary, that kind. But nothing ridiculous, guys. Like, pink rims with, like, green main color. I think that kind of... Like, I like making my cars look realistic. Not too, like, overly... Uh... I don't know, crazy. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Cognoseti. Cognoseni, Cognoseni, whatever. Yeah, let's uh, try and go as fast as we can with this thing here for a bit. Yeah, this thing is really quick, guys. Like, I, I watched a video, I don't know what YouTuber it was, but they raced this against the... Uh, Shafter V12, and this thing was literally keeping up with it. It actually passed the Shaper V... Sh Shaper. The Shafter V12 once, and then the Shafter came back, kind of. But yeah, they're really close. They're, like, neck and neck. And this thing is literally, like, twice the size, if not, like, a whole quarter bigger than the Shafter. So, yeah, it's pretty sick. V12 power, indeed. But yeah, I think this one actually has the V12, and the Cognizant 55 has a 6... 0.8 liter or something supercharged v8 so yeah the v12 one is pretty awesome yeah you guys can see here this thing is quick and like the handling isn't bad either like i love that drifting it's so awesome really is such a sick car and like its brakes are really good like to be able to handle this much weight the brakes on this thing are pretty amazing have some massive brembos brembos on it something like that yeah, guys, uh, that's it for this video. Sorry, it's kind of long. 13 minutes, oh my god. But yeah, guys, peace out. See you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for more, guys. See you in the next one.